Well, hello! It has been a very long time since I've made a video, and for that I am so sorry. Life and illness and just not having a chance without having the kids around got in the way. I only have one kid home at the minute, so hopefully I can get through this video. So I wanted to do an unboxing video for my latest discovery. I'd heard of the Midori Traveler's Notebook for months and looked into it, thought about it, but didn't decided it wasn't for me. Decided I wasn't going to use it as a planner, and I'm still not going to use it as a planner. But a few nights ago, my youngest was sick, and so I was up all night with him, and of course I turned to YouTube videos, started watching a bunch of videos about the Midori, and decided that I was going to use it as a journal and keepsake, and yeah, I'll, I'll do a video later on once I've been using it for a while and get it set up, but I wanted to just do an unboxing video for my first impressions and show some other stuff that I've got. So get it open. I went with the actual, uh, the original Midori. There are a lot of faux Dories out there that are wonderful, but I'd heard that the original Midori is very soft and supple, and that was what I really wanted. Um, so here it is. Very nice packaging. I also ordered another um, insert, as you can see, the lined one. Um, and I also got a couple others that I'll show you in a minute that I got yesterday. But that's the reason I went with the original Midori. I ordered it off of Amazon, so it wasn't too expensive. A lot of plastic overwrap. Here is the band, extra band that I will be using later. Maybe that's the extra one, maybe that's the one that comes with it. A little note about it. And here it is. Got a thin cotton drawstring bag that it's packaged in. Oh, that is soft. All right. That feels very nice. It is very flexible, very floppy. I got the brown because I want it to get all scuffed up. I love that look. Uh, it's one of the reasons I love my Malden because it ages so well. Um, extra elastic there. So open it up for those who don't know. It's got the elastic around it. Um, that's the closure. It has, it's basically just a big piece of leather, um, essentially is all that it is with some elastic bands. So here at the top um, is the tin clasp, and the elastic goes back through there as well. There is the bookmark, it's just the string, a lot of people will put charms on it, I'm sure I will as well. It comes with one um, just blank 64 sheet um, page insert, um, and it goes underneath this band here. This is the long band and the short band, um, and that's how you attach your notebooks inside your inserts. So I wanted to show you, I got, um, as I just came, was this lined one, which I'm not going to put in there yet, but I got this, which is the really thin paper, it's the lightweight paper, so there's a lot more of it, I think it's 128 instead of just the 64 pages. So I got this and I used just a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper to make a cover for it. I will uh, link down below the video that I watched, but it's the same way that you used to cover books for like junior high school. So I have this one that's going to go in. I also have a craft paper insert. And again, I used just some scrapbook paper to cover this one. Um, and so that's going to go in there as well. And I also, again, I'll link the video below, but Pocket Full of Vintage had a six pocket um, folder made out of a manila folder. And so I made that yesterday. This isn't gonna be my permanent one because I, I wanna get a cuter file folder to do it, but this was just kind of a proof of concept. Um, as you can see, it's not perfect, but a proof of concept and just to get me by as I'm setting it up to account for that space. So I want to go ahead, I'm going to pull this extra elastic out here, and I'm going to go ahead and try and get this set up how I want to have it. So I want this to go in the front, so there's that middle one, make sure I've got it right side up, yes, and then I'm going to have this to go, um, actually I'm going to have this one to go in the middle, so put that there. So I'll have, this is my first, going to be my first notebook, and this is going to be my back notebook. So that's the middle there. Not quite. There we go. There's the middle. Um, so I'm going to take my elastic and bind these two together, the first and third book.
you see those are joined just like that. And then I'm going to do the method where you put it over, just kind of spread this apart and pull up the middle bands like so. I'm just gonna use the long one. Then I've got my file folder, six pocket folder wrapped around and my middle notebook. And I'm just gonna do that like that. So jiggle them around a little bit and you can see nice and stuffed. Um, the original generally, it can hold four, and some people put even more, but if you don't want to have it sticking out the side, then it's really best to just do three notebooks and then a little insert. So you can see that's perfectly full. Um, yeah, there's my bookmark that I'll affix a charm to. I want to put a charm on there as well or something just to make it look pretty and personalize it. But here we go. This is going to be my first notebook. Got my folder. I've got my middle notebook, my second notebook, other end of the folder, and then I've got my craft paper, my third notebook. So I'm going to start playing and I will make a video probably here in the next few weeks or so. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get it set up and working the way I like it and so I actually have something to show. But once I do, then I will make another video updating um, how, how, what, how exactly I have it set up and how it's working for me. I actually want to do an initial unboxing and then show how I was planning on putting it together. Be on the lookout. I'm hoping that this weekend I can film some videos uh, without the kids around making noise in the background. Thank you for your patience on that. So be on the lookout for some more videos about um, my Erin Condren life planner, about Woodland Cottage Farms of uh, covers for those. I got one of those. Um, updated setup videos and just how I'm using my planners for 2015. I've made some changes and so I'd love to share those with you. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more videos and make sure you don't miss any of them, please subscribe. Love to hear some comments about how, if you are familiar with the Midori, uh, what you use yours for. If you use it as a planner, I've just decided that I'm I've been messing around with my planner piece enough lately, I'm not going to add another variable. So this is just going to be a creative outlet and journal. Um, but yeah, I hope that you will come back and tune in again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.